Hello and welcome back to another CFD's video. Now today we are going to have a slightly different type of video as in it's not going to be tips, it's going to be more of a tutorial. Cause if you're like me, you just started collecting the Ashen Dragon set and you look for the hull of the ship and you're like, what? Why don't you have it, Tavern Man? And so then you go over to the ship seller person and you're like, why don't you have it? And so you have a mental breakdown and everything in life seems wrong. Well, 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 well. That's not how you do it. To get it, all you gotta do is simply do a tall tale. Now, tall tales, if you don't know what they are, they're pretty much longer story mode type missions with an adventure. Now, you don't have to do complete any to unlock this, so it's already available. So you're gonna look at your tall tale and wait. What is this? Yes! And all I have to do is complete it. Well, that's why I'm here. Because after you saw that, you immediately went up on your YouTube and you was like, How do I complete this? Well, that's why I'm here to show you how. First step, step one, you need to head over to Moro's Peak Outpost where you can start it. Moro's Peak Outpost ahead! Alright, once you get to Moro's Peak Outpost, find your way to the tavern and go inside. Now, inside the tavern, there will be, um, go talk to the bartender, and next to it, there will be the tall tale. Just vote for that tall tale to get it started up, just like any other mission or tall tale. And then, oh my, what the? There okay, anyway, I was then to think you would you're just gonna jibble jabber for a while. Once you get the book, go outside, there's gonna be some person starting to talk to you. They scared me, I did not know they were there. But anyway, more jibber jabber. Listen to it though, because it is important for the story. But I'm not gonna show it to you in the video, just because it's with time and it's a spoiler. So, yeah. Then head over to Liar's Backbone and go up and you should find a lever all you gotta do is, when you see that lever, open it, and inside there's going to be this vault. Well, not vault, necessarily. But anyway, this is the combination, and it will unlock it to get a key and um, some notes. For step three, you're gonna need to head to the Devil's Thirst Island. On the north side of this island, there's a door that you need to unlock with your key. Once you think you're once you're on the north side of the island, take your key into the water and find the door. In front of the door there will be a little stone that you can place the key into to open the door. Now I went back to go get food, and when I came back, the door was closed. And that was very unfortunate. <laughs> Cause once the door closes, there's no getting it back open. So don't make the same mistake I did. I tried taking the key out, I was hoping maybe I could take it out and then put it back in, but no. Oh no. I was stuck. I quite literally had to leave the server, start a new game, and redo the entire thing. That's not something you want to do. It's not something you want to do. Anyway, once you open it, then you have enough time to get breath, which I totally recommend. And then going through the water corridors. Don't worry about getting lost, there's only one way you can possibly go. Once you make it out of the water, one of the main first obstacles is you're gonna have to jump over some lava on some rocks. This is pretty simple, it's just simple parkour. I mean, if you've ever played Minecraft, you can probably do this pretty easily. So, next, just if you can't find a continuation of a water tunnel, then just go straight up, because that's where it's going to be. Now, keep going until you reach this room. This room's important because it doesn't matter exactly what door you take, because they all lead to the same place, but there are different traps within each door. Tell me in the comments if you want me to make to make a video showing each 
of the doors in each of their traps. But in this video right now, how I did it today, I went through the left door, which is the blue one. Different firebomb for the different skull opens a different door. Now make sure you have some fireballs, firebombs with you. If you don't see them, there's some in the barrel. And there are some skeletons that will spawn. Don't worry, there are only three hits and there's food and ammo in that cave. Alright, this these mermaid statues that you will find can take you back to your boat if you decide that you don't want to continue the tall tale. If you die, don't worry. It's not gonna you're not gonna have to restart it because you respawn at the beginning of your uh, what's gonna call it? Obstacle. Now keep going through all of the all of the traps and all of the corridors until you reach this door with a lever. You'll see beside you there are the other doors for the other hallways. As you can see, they all lead to the same place. Then go out so for some important dialogue. At this point, you are reaching the end of your tall tale. Once Citra Jim burns his hand, then you're going to want to go down and uh, steal the chest from him. Climb up these two ladders, and once you get up on top of the second one, some more dialogue will start. And Stitcher Jim will We're run away. We're supposed to be in this together! Once he does run away, then you gotta travel uh, through these boards, grab the chest, and go out that hallway. This is a time lapse of me going out the hallway. This is also where you're going to need the, f the fire bombs to open up a few doors. Be careful, because once you're at, the longer you hold the chest, it'll start to heat up and then explode. Once it explodes, then you can take it and start carrying it to the exit again. If you're in water, though, it, the, uh, it will reset, and so you don't have to worry about um, the explosion. Then, once you, the moment you get out, you'll see this guy. He'll take your chest from you, and you win. This has been Robo Studios. Yeah, thanks.